So, note the difference between strength and concentration. Strength relates directly to Ka, the acidity constant, for a given dissociation. Concentration, on the other hand, relates purely to the amount per, um, per litre of a given iron. Strength refers to uh, Ka, and concentration refers to the amount of acid actually in solution. So therefore, it's possible to have a concentrated solution of a weak acid or a dilute solution of a very strong acid. Concentration is measured in moles per litre or moles per decimeter cubed. And what you often find is it's referred as mole dm to the minus 3 and sometimes just as capital M, molar. Acid strength can be measured using Ka, as we've already indicated. The larger the Ka, the greater the degree of dissociation of the acid into the conjugate base and, of course, the important H+. But these are not generally convenient ways of measuring it because you have to use, uh, again, standard uh, form in this case. 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 is a little bit more difficult to work with, especially um, if you're looking at it from a biological perspective, um, and a lot of the calculations may appear to be confusing, may result in some errors as a consequence. So as a consequence of this, pKa is used, with the small letter p denoting negative log. That's all P means in this context. So we take whatever the value of Kea is, and then we carry out the negative log to the base 10 of that value. By carrying out the negative log to the base 10, we get a value which is a bit more easy to deal with. Usually, um, a value running from 1 through to 14, or at the very least, a decimal value which is easy to deal with. If we look at this equation, what we mean is, by taking pKa, we are taking the negative log to the base 10 of the concentrations of H plus multiplied by our conjugate base A minus divided by the non-dissociated concentration of our acid, HA. So if, for example, we were to look at ethanoic acid, we see that the pKa of this calculation results in a value of 4.77. The stronger acid, trichloroethanoic acid, results in a pKa of 0 0.70. And as we actually go down in terms of pKa value, we're increasing the degree of dissociation and increasing the concentration of H plus that is actually formed. When an acid or a base is added to water, the concentration of H plus will change. And this is the origins of the term pH. pH, like pKa, in this case, just means that we're taking the negative log to the base 10 of the concentration of H plus in solution. Hence the term pH, derived um, from the German expression portens hydrogen. Pure water has a pH of 7. And there's a relatively easy rule of thumb to bear in mind with this. When the concentration, for example, is approximately 1 times 10 to the minus 7, in terms of moles per litre, then you can actually just remove that minus 7 and remove the negative value. So in other words, if I have 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles of H plus in a litre of water, I will have a pH of 7. So sometimes there's a general rule of thumb which doesn't require you to use a calculator. Therefore, if we had a concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 2, we can just take that power remove the negative value, and we end up with a pH of 2, which you should appreciate is an acidic pH. Remember, pure water has a pH of 7, and it also dissociates to a small extent. Acidic solutions will always give a greater concentration of H plus than exists in water, and have a pH of less than 7. Basic solutions will have a smaller concentration of H plus, free in solution, and have a pH greater than 7 always. Typically, physiological conditions result in a pH of around 7.4, although obviously that varies depending on whether or not you're talking, for example, about urine samples, saliva samples, uh, or indeed plasma blood samples. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. 
Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.